My name is Ian Brown. I'm a senior research fellow at Oxford University where I do research on uh, public policy related to the internet, especially things like privacy and copyright. Uh, I'm Jenny Tennyson. I'm the technical director at the Open Data Institute and I'm going to be on the panel at OrCon on UK Open Data. My name is Eric King. I'm the head of research at Privacy International where I direct the Big Brother Incorporated project, um, an international investigation into the trade and surveillance technologies around the world. My name is Gabrielle Guima and I'm legal officer at Article 19, an international free speech organization. Hello, so my name is Hauke Giro and I'm working for the German section of Reporters Without Borders in Berlin. Um, and I'm the head of our Internet Freedom Desk here. The main points that come out of the book, um, first of all, how important it is that all of the stakeholders in a policy debate are represented. So that's groups like Org and its supporters, as well as the, um, the big and small companies and the governments that are involved in policy debate. The second is we propose that um, interoperability and open systems could solve some of these thorny uh, problems without the need for very uh, intrusive bureaucratic top-down government regulation. So to give you an example of that, at the moment pe people spend a lot of time, internet users, on social networking sites. Well what if you could require that those kind of sites interconnect with each other? That way people that think privacy is important can move to social networking sites that they think respect their privacy but they're still able to talk and share content and so on with their friends on other sites. So what I'm going to uh, be hammering on about uh, in the panel is about the importance of publishing core reference data for the UK, um, which was something reflected in the Shakespeare Review, but also how we need to change the way in which we think of our business models, particularly in the public sector, when we're publishing open data. How open data can help us change the business models so that we get better benefits out of uh, public sector information. Orcon, I'm going to be talking about the state of the art in surveillance technologies. Um, I'll be going through brochures and specific companies and products that are being manufactured, uh, sold and exported to some of the most repressive regimes in the world. And I'll be talking about how we can fix this and introduce export controls on surveillance technology to prevent pro-democracy activists and human rights defenders from being targeted by this unlawful and, uneth and, and unethical surveillance. At Orcon, I'll be presenting Article 19's right to share principles, which are principles on the balance between free expression and copyright in the digital age. Article 19 started this initiative um, over a year ago because we thought that in the debate on piracy and enforcement of copyright online, the voice of human rights organizations and free speech advocates in particular was missing. So in this document we tried to identify the areas uh, in which free expression and copyright intersect and we propose ways in which the tension between these two rights can be resolved. One of the main issues uh, I am covering is uh, the export uh, export control for surveillance uh, software uh, because this software is often used to target journalists uh, as well as their sources um, and therefore undermines uh, privacy and security of journalists and their sources. Um, and we've seen many cases in crit critical countries like Bahrain, for example, where journalists have been targeted uh, by German uh, surveillance software or also British surveillance software and that is why we fight for a regime to control the export of this software.